the goal of this Atherin HO scale wide hood blue box kit bash series is to create locomotive models not offered by Atherin. EMD offered the 1800 horsepower SD28 between March of 1964 and November of 1965. The SD28 offered the cleaner engine environment and lower production costs common with the Spartan Cab series. The SD28 used the same 567 series engine of the GP35, but only supplied with a roots blower instead of a turbocharger. I chose to model Illinois Central Gulf's ex Columbus and Greenville units sometime in the time period between 1972 and 1980. The SD28 had an extra radiator door and a blank space not found on the GP28s. I combined two GP35 shells to make my SD28. I used an extra set of engine room doors to make the additional length. The ICG SD28s did not have dynamic brake. Fortunately, the Atherin shell is quite thick and the rooftop details and dynamic brake can just be filed off. As with my GP28, I salvaged the radiator fans off the GP35 shell. The fans were placed on a new roof panel and positioned over the center of each of the radiator grille sections. Photos showing any 28 series locomotive with non-dynamic brakes are difficult to find. This photo shows a retrofitted paper filter behind the inertial air filter hump. I chose to keep the original flat roof oil filter profile. Here is the completed locomotive shell in primer ready for the paint shop. Homemade lift rings made from 26 gauge floral wire are a bit oversized but they're robust. Here is a comparison of my SD28 on the top and GP28 on the bottom. Here is the SD28 painted, weathered with homemade handrails. An Atherin SD45 frame must be shortened to fit the SD28 shell. In my particular circumstance, I need to remove 23 millimeters of the fuel tank. A handheld hacksaw was used to make the cuts necessary to segment the frame and remove the fuel tank section. I needed to square up the ends of my frame cuts. A test fit of the new frame reveals that the bushing retention spring on the bottom of the old gray rocket atherin motor required a relief notch in order to fit. The frame pieces were then epoxied together and secured in alignment. Here is the frame with the shortened fuel tank. The original motor is now too big to fit between the new truck mounts. I shortened the universal on the drive shaft end and the drive shafts. Even with the shortened drive shafts, I still had to remove one of the flywheels. Here are some photos of the finished model. 